Hi, I'm Jeff Kaplan, and today we'll be doing Overwatch support. This question comes to us from Nudes. Why is Genji such a cool dude? Why explain? If you were a cyborg ninja, wouldn't you be a cool dude too? It's not like he's an accountant or he works at the supermarket. He is a cyborg ninja. This one is from Judge Jameson. Is it ever gonna be revealed exactly what Junkrat's treasure is? At some point it will be revealed. I think the better question to ask is, is it Junkrat's treasure in the first place? Just leave you with a little hint there. We have a question here from Blade Mitchell. How come Overwatch competitive isn't placed based on individual skill instead of win-loss? Doing a competitive matchmaking system is actually quite complicated. In a game like Hearthstone, we're judging one versus one performance, so it's very easy to decide what you as an individual contributed in a Hearthstone match versus your opponent. In a game of Overwatch, you've got six players on your side and six players on the other side, and you're basically one small part of the fraction. So we have to look at a much bigger picture when it comes to breaking down your individual performance and your contribution to the overall outcome of that competitive match. Now, there's a lot of complicated things we do under the hood, but at the end of the day, whether your team won or lost is still the best indicator of a team's success or failure and your contribution to that. So I know it doesn't always seem super fair, but it's the fairest way we have of judging. Comrade Brennan writes to us, why is nerfing Reaper not a thing? Actually, if you listen to a lot of our community, they've been talking about buffing Reaper. So it really depends on the skill level that you're playing at, the types of compositions that you're seeing, and whether or not you have a highly skilled Reaper player playing against you or with you, that sort of forms your opinion of whether Reaper should be buffed or nerfed. But at this time, we think Reaper's in a pretty good place. PKMN Master Jared, I'm assuming that's Pokemon Master, I hope it is. Uh, why is Widowmaker blue? So Widowmaker really has a tragic arc. And it's interesting when you think about the, the trials that she's been through. So she was originally married to an Overwatch operative and she was brainwashed and used to assassinate her own husband. This is an absolutely tragic story. And after that, she was really you know, deprogrammed to become a Talon agent. And then later they did all sorts of freaky experiments with her to slow her heart rate down, to make her the amazing sniper that she is. But the end result is that her skin turned blue and she's actually a little bit numb in more than one way. Agent Brotastic writes us, anyone has any ideas on how to make your FPS much higher, rip my gameplay. There's a lot of things you can do to make your FPS higher. Your video card is one of the key components to, to performance, your hard disk speed, your CPU. Now, if you wanna make software adjustments within Overwatch, I recommend looking at things like world scale, looking at what resolution you're playing in. I would highly recommend playing in full screen and generally turning things down, then checking the game without turning everything down all at once because then you won't know what's yielding that FPS back to you. From Dolby Wolf, uh, seriously, why is Reinhardt able to still move at full speed while swinging his hammer while Arissa and D.Va slow down to shoot? Reinhardt is defined by two main functions to his character. One is that glorious barrier to protect his teammates and to create a front, and the other is the hammer. Now, Reinhardt doesn't have a lot of ranged capability. He has Fire Strike, which is a great range attack and does a lot of damage, but it's on a very long cooldown. Besides his charge ability, which really isn't meant for Reinhardt to use as mobility, Reinhardt only has base movement speed to get around. So we felt like the engagement range being rather short on the hammer, it would have been an extra detriment to slow Reinhardt down while he was swinging that hammer. From Undead Arena, what do I do if in my first two placement matches we get someone AFKing? Will they be punished? I'm really upset. If somebody is AFKing in a placement match, we've added functionality on PC to report these players where you can say they're being inactive right now. And we have a whole customer support and hacks and risk department here at Blizzard that looks at people who have egregious amounts of reports. Now on console, the report functionality is coming soon. In the meantime, you can use the native reporting features of the Xbox and the PlayStation to report bad behavior through um, the Sony and Microsoft channels. 
from Jess. What is a Tobelstein and why is Zarya always going for it? Tobelstein is a made up word. Those of us on the development team have been saying it since we first got the voice recordings in and the players have picked up on saying this as well. When she, she casts her Graviton Surge, it sounds like she's saying something about the Tobelstein. Well, this is just us in our ignorance, not understanding the Russian language, but she's saying, and I did pronounce that very poorly, but what that means in Russian is fire at will. So there you have it. We all call it the Tobelstein though. Now from Space Jest, I know almost zero Overwatch lore. Why is Reaper just standing there creeping on a family in the shadows like a 15 year old goth? There's a lot more that's gonna come out about Reaper. This is something that we don't wanna reveal immediately, but it is a story we're very compelled to tell over time. From Midnight and Beyond, Serious question, what's the point of alternate costumes in a game like Overwatch when you can't even see your character when you play? So when we were first making this game, we were very committed to making the game in first person. Now we also knew we were gonna have a rich cast of characters that we wanted you to identify with and fall in love with. And part of that was providing cool skins like the costumes that you mentioned for the characters. So what we've tried to do to solve this problem is show your character in all its glory in as many places as possible. So for example, when you log into the game on the front menu, most of your characters are standing there in really big form. When you go to Hero Select, we show a giant version of your character so you can really get a sense of it. And lastly, seeing other people and seeing their skins and realizing how cool they are really goes a long way too. From Pretzels, why is Symmetra support class and not defense class? I have seriously always wondered this. When we originally added the whole class system where we added roles to Overwatch, we did it primarily for new players who were first approaching the game. They would see this big list of 20 some characters and have no idea which character they should even play. So we did it as an easy way for players to digest what the characters may or may not be about. And it, I don't wanna say it was arbitrary who we put Put into what category. I mean, we did put a lot of thought against it, but there wasn't a lot of rigid gameplay mechanics behind what role they were in. You know, we honestly talked about Torbjorn being in support at one point. Characters that could bring some utility to the battlefield that wasn't necessarily just shooting at people. She could easily be in the defense class. I don't know if we did that today, if it would actually change anything in Overwatch. Okay, for Zertan, from a lore perspective, how do Zenyatta's Discord and Harmony Orbs work? Biotech for latter maybe, but the former. We've talked a lot about this. We have a lead writer by the name of Michael Chu, and people have asked this about Reaper in some cases, where they ask, you know, Reaper has those soul globes laying around the map. What is the sort of science or magic behind those? And I know this is kind of a weird answer to give, but in some cases, we want things to just exist for gameplay reasons that don't necessarily need to be supported by lore in the game. So not everything is explained as canon lore when you're playing 6v6 Overwatch that might happen in the game. That's why you can have a Tracer and Widowmaker on the same team even though they don't like each other and they're fighting against another Tracer and Widowmaker. River asks, what if I broke my Overwatch disc in half? I hope you have Overwatch installed. If you're playing on PC, you can just re-download Overwatch. You can buy five new computers and re-download Overwatch and we've got your license on hand. Now, if you're playing on the Xbox or the PlayStation, you're going to be in trouble and you're going to have a hard time um, playing Overwatch without that disc. Glitter Guts writes to us, how come I'm not good at Overwatch? I've played for, I think, 200 hours. Bullshit. So, uh, to Glitter Guts, I, I think sometimes we really misjudge ourselves as players. A lot of players think they are much better than they actually are. And I think there's a whole group of players who are way better than they think they are. And I'm not sure which you are, but I'm sure if we tracked your play style and we went back and looked through your play history, I'm willing to bet that you've gotten much smarter and much better at the game as time has gone on. One thing that's very challenging about a game like Overwatch is that it's player versus player only. So as you're evolving and getting better, the matchmaker is consistently putting you against players of your skills, so they're also getting better. And what that means is in a game that's player versus environment only, where you're fighting AI controlled creatures, you'll get to the point where you'll just sort of stop them. And in Overwatch, you're never really going to get to that point against other players. 
from Kettle. Hello, this might be a stupid question, but will I trigger Overwatch's cheat detection if I download mods for other games? So no, you should not trigger any sort of cheat detection if you're downloading legitimate mods for, for legitimate games that have, you know, mod support, it won't trigger any sort of cheat detection for Overwatch. Emily Heredia asks, how do the Overwatch heroes feel about pineapple on pizza? We've talked many times about the diversity of Overwatch heroes and what a rich cast it is. Right now we have 24 heroes and they come from all walks of life. They have completely different backstories. They play completely differently. They care about different things. The really interesting thing about the Overwatch heroes is that the only common thing that they have is that they all like pineapple on pizza. Carrie Sloan writes to us, I'm curious why the map is payload themed, but Hanamura isn't a payload map in Overwatch. What made you decide to make that choice? This is a question about the map that was recently added to Heroes of the Storm, where they added a Hanamura map that takes place in, in Hanamura, but isn't the same as the Overwatch map. And I think this is one of the awesome things about Heroes of the Storm and Overwatch and how they can coexist in the same universe that, you know, A, Hanamura is a big place, so there's room for for assault maps and there's room for payload maps and also s sort of showcases the differences between the two games and how they can play differently and make different design and gameplay choices to really feature and showcase the best parts of how the heroes in both games play. David Jones, why doesn't Quick Play have the ability to tell if we will be switching sides next game or not? Quick Play, if you're playing any of our game mode types, with the exception of Control, you will always switch sides in Quick Play. Now, sometimes a match will collapse because players leaving at the end of a round, and the matchmaker will be forced to create a new match, and this might give the impression that we're not always switching sides every time. But as long as a critical mass of players stays together and or the the matchmaker can backfill in time, you'll always get a mirror match in quick play. From Joseph Edwards, can I ask a question about Overwatch? Why is Overtime in the game? Originally, Overtime wasn't in Overwatch, and we were playing a lot of matches without it, and it was extremely frustrating to us because as a team, you're sometimes doing a final push, in particular when you're on attack, and you might be right on the control point and feel like you're coming out ahead on a team battle, and you're about to win it, and then time would just run out, and the match would be over, and it felt very unsatisfying and very unfair. Over time, we have played with many different mechanics to make the overtime period feel more fair, and I currently think we're in a pretty good place with overtime. From Leah, hi, I was just wondering, and I'm sure this question is kind of annoying. It's not, don't worry. We get lots of questions. Will Overwatch be coming to Mac? Is it definite answer? I would not say that it's definite, always out of the question. We will never be on Mac. We are open-minded to it. Uh, we just sort of need the priorities of our development process to line up with the capabilities of the platform in order for it to become a reality. Millennia Malioti. Maybe stupid question, but how can I see my national rank in Overwatch? You currently cannot see anything like a national rank in Overwatch. It doesn't really exist that way. What we have in Overwatch is a top 500 system that's regional based, and we currently have three main regions. We have Americas, which includes North America, South America, and Australia. We have Asia, and we have Europe. China also has a separate region unto itself. We don't have anything that's on a country by country basis. And we also only track rank for the top 500 players. From the game Mutual, uh, and it's trademarked, why does everyone HC Roadhog as a big sweetie when the lore literally describes him as cruel and sadistic? What's fun about Overwatch and the characters is that they belong to you guys and you can do whatever you want with them. So we often see you shipping different characters that we normally normally hadn't thought of having romantic relationships, and we think that's awesome. We see you taking different takes on them. You've turned 76 into a dad. You've turned D.Va into some sort of Mountain Dew chugging gremlin. We think it's awesome. If that's what makes the game cool to you guys and makes you love the characters even more, go for it, is what we say. Megan LM Anime, how do I enter the World Cup for Overwatch? So in some ways, you're entered for the World Cup just by playing. First off, 32 countries are gonna qualify. And and the way that they qualify is we're looking at the top players and their average skill rating 
across all nations. And, and we're tracking that. It's on our website. You can look at it. So if you are one of the top players in your country, there will be a selection committee that will be reaching out to you if they think you will be World Cup worthy. Michelle Lega, how do I politely tell my roommate to get off my PS4 so I can play some Overwatch? I have two answers to this one. The first one is I'm going to make up a name for your roommate. It's uh, Mabel. Mabel, would you be so kind as to leave the PS4 for a few minutes, if not hours, so I can indulge in some Overwatch. That's that's one. And then the second one is a little bit easier. You say to Mabel, did you hear that? I think somebody's at the door. And then she gets up and she goes to the door. Then you quickly lock the door that the PS4 is in and then you lock her out and then you just start playing Overwatch. So it's up to you. Liam Jack Boo writes, what do I do if this comes up? I think it's funny that we say unexpected server error as if there's like an expected server error that we would pop the screen up for. But in this case, just try to log in again. If the game does not allow you to log in again, what I recommend doing is going to playoverwatch.com, then going to the community section and looking for uh, our tech support forum and checking if a CS representative has posted like a server status update. You could also go to the Blizzard CS Twitter account and ask them, is something wrong with the Overwatch servers, and we'll try to respond as quickly as possible. Charles Clausen, why doesn't Blizzard help the smaller team out to even the playing field 10% health or low level bot. We have not been believers in catch up mechanics. They tend, in our opinion, to feel a little bit unfair for the team who's doing well. And it gives you that sense of futility if you're performing really well and the other team gets sort of this free boost to bring you up to par. It tends to feel really bad for the team who's doing well in the first place. If there was a mismatch for whatever reason and the teams were not fair or even, believe it or not, I'd rather have there be an acceleration to defeat and then the matchmaker split up the match and find a new better match. Odd Solo, whoa, 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 they don't keep track of kills in skirmish anymore. How can I prove I'm king of the skirmish now? I actually didn't know that. I have had skirmish turned off for a long time. I used to engage in skirmish all the time when I was in the matchmaking queue. And then recently I turned it off because of the people that I've been grouping with didn't like to have it on. So I will look into that. I think that's actually pretty valid. I mean, the kill count doesn't really mean much because in essence, there, there's no match going on on and people are in for different times, but we'll still look into that. Bettina asks us, but the question is, can I get away with playing Overwatch at work? Absolutely. I recommend going to the careers at blizzard.com page. So far, all of us have gotten away with playing tons of Overwatch at work, and I've only gotten a couple talking to's about it, and I still have a job, so it really depends on your workplace. From Catboy Catgirl, how come in Anna's old Overwatch skin, she looks young, but Mercy and Genji and McCree look exactly the same? How have they not aged at all? So aging in Overwatch is sort of interesting because you have characters like Mei, who is literally in a cryo freeze. Like Mei is one of the older characters, but because she was in that cryo freeze for some time, she's aged at a different rate. Tracer had her accident on the slipstream and that's caused her to have some unique aging properties as well. With Mercy, you have to keep in mind that she is one of the highest tech doctors in existence and she has extremely advanced medical technology. And with that, you need to remember that Mercy also helped Genji greatly in his recovery and helped him get over his grievous wounds that he received from Hanzo. There's a little bit of Mercy medical magic going on with both of them. Micah writes to us, I just want to play Overwatch. Why does it take years to find a match? If you are an extremely high skilled player, the matchmaker will take a longer time finding a match for you because it doesn't want to subject lower skilled players to your inevitable wrath. So if you're a very high skilled player, it's going to take you a longer time, especially in competitive mode. Josh Brown, how does this guy keep putting out stuff like this? And this is an amazing video. Uh, it's by a gentleman by the name of Dino Flask. He's become quite a legend. Dino Flask keeps putting out amazing content, mostly by the talent that he has recruited to be in his videos. And he works with a wickedly talented group of individuals. I mean, when you think about like acting and performing talent, it's no wonder that this guy is making amazing videos. The talent is really carrying the videos for him.